Ignition sequence start. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Liftoff. We have a liftoff. Hey everybody, this is the Digital Asset Investor, and I just had some cheese toast. Um, I wanted to, before I get going here, I wanted to, I just got an email from Mike Jansen, and I wanted to read to you what Mike said to me. Now, for those of you that don't know, my, and this is important so that you understand, Mike's not just some jackleg that sent me an email. He's a, Mike is one of the first guys that ever listened to my channel. He was a subscriber, I believe, below 100 subscribers. That's how long Mike's been around. But Mike is also the official stadium announcer of the Digital Asset Investor channel. He um, is, the, is the actual stadium announcer for the Indianapolis Colts. And he also has a video production company. You can see it here um, You can, if you need any video production work. He's mgjansen.com. Well, listen to this email. You know, in my earlier video today, I told you, uh, we talked about how I've been saying for a long time that all the, all financial advisors will be, will be selling digital assets. This is what Mike sent me in his email. He says, I met, I'm not going to say a, a last name here, but he says, I met Jeff before a Colts game a couple of weeks ago. He follows me on Twitter. He's a big XRP holder and a Colts season ticket holder. He told me his financial advisor told him a year ago to stay away from digital assets and recently said his financial advisor was at a conference and all the financial companies are going to be selling digital assets next summer is what he said the financial planner told him. This is not coincidence, folks. This, is, this has all been a plan by these people. They, 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 as I've told you a thousand times on this channel, they, the financial advisors, they had to say to stay away from it. But the main reason they said stay away from it is because they didn't have a way to make money off of it. But apparently they are going to have their way to make money off of it by next summer. Well, I don't know if that refers to this coming summer or what. But um, the point is, is that this is always what was going to happen. And it, it's so predictable. And, and the reason it's so predictable for me, not just having been a financial advisor, but but using using my head and my common sense. Think about it for a minute. Do you? These are people. The whole center of a financial advisor's universe is money, or they used to call them stockbroker. The whole center of everything that they are is dollar signs. Do you think that that industry is going to sit on the sidelines while they're hearing about? gains in digital assets into the thousands of percent while even even this year in a year that you feel like this market's down and it's a bad market even in this year bitcoin has gone up at least over hundreds uh, i think over a hundred percent this year which is probably 10 or 20 times even as even as the central banks and and the fed and everybody is pumping up the stock market they still can't get returns like bitcoin alone got this year do you think that the financial advisors and the money men of the world are just going to look at that and then turn their head and, and go the other way no that's not how life works they go where the money is, and they they have been smelling that money, and they're sick of smelling that money, and they're coming. And when they come, guess who is sitting here waiting for them? You and I, the hodlers who have, have had our stomachs hurting and all of that and have had to go through all that. Well, that's the reward, folks, for the people that have the guts to man up and to wear the big boy pants. You get to, you get to feel the bad emotion, but you also get to feel if you're able to, to hang in there and be tough and wear those big boy pants, we get to feel that rush. And boy, is it a rush when the bulls do come. And I believe that those, the financial advisors and the investment firms of the world are going to bring it right to your doorstep. Okay. Um, XRP. No, here, listen, we, co I covered this. I want to highlight someone. I, in my last video, I was talking about this XRP Wolf um, tweet about how State Street was cutting 
some of their blockchain uh, jobs and they were going to change their focus. Um, they're going to pivot from transforming the plumbing with DLT to instead supporting digital assets. They're more focused on cryptocurrency, stable coins, custody, and their settlement coin. Well, lucky for all of us, we have several researchers in this community, and I'm going to highlight one of them, who are always able to tie things together when I forget to or don't see it or miss it, and I do miss it often. But here, and, and so, but I wanted to show you, this is the article tied to what he sent. And remember, we talked about this. They're moving away from the DLT initiative um, from State Street, they said that, and they're moving towards these things. And then at the end, they mentioned developed by bank consortium. They're, they're focusing on their, their settlement coin being developed by bank consortium Finality. And then we went and looked at Finality's website, and I showed you all, all the list of the different banks that were partners with this Finality thing. And one of them was Banco Santander. Bank of New York Mellon was one of them. Well, guess what? Our One of the best researchers in this community, and I'm going to give him a title just because this is so on point and he knocked it out of the park, Grand Slam here. Um, I'm going to say that I Am Legion is the official researcher who can find things out of nowhere and piece things together, be together better than anyone I know of the Digital Asset Investor channel. If you And I am Legion, you, if you can write that title out and put it somewhere so I can remember every time that, um, that I see you. But he, he, sends, he sends this out. Blockchain leaders join forces, tackle inefficiencies in the global FX market. Set from September 18th, 2019, Finality and, and Fentium to build on R3's Corda, the leading blockchain platform for business. For project to focus initially on the interbank FX swaps market, banks will benefit from instant execution, instant settlement, minimizing settlement risk. FX is the world's largest and most liquid market, and it's also, by the way, a $5.1 trillion market a day, if I remember that number correctly, and I'm pretty sure I do. Um, but as you go down through this, Finality and Fentium today, they announced that they're working together, to deliver interoperability between this applicant built on R3's Corda platform. Now, keep going down. He shows us another video. Remember this guy? This is the guy that heads digital assets, as I recall from, from Banco Santander. In this, he actually, and, and this is where it really ties together. I didn't remember it or know it. But remember this video that we showed you on here, and I think I, I can't remember who put it out, but this video I had shown you, and I don't remember the exact mark, but he's got the mark right here. Excuse me. In this video, this is where this guy came out and he said that the central banks, the central banks have told all these banks to be quiet about all this digital asset stuff. And he, and he points at a guy from, from Facebook that's in the audience and says, it wasn't until you guys announced Libra, that was when we were allowed to talk about this. And he then he goes on and he, he names all of the banks in his, this consortium that's been working on this for over three years. And he names all of the banks and I am Legion pegged it. What he's talking about is this finality thing. And what's so great, is, and, and remember, this is R3. So in other words, State Street, this is what I get out of this. In other words, State Street says, we're going we're gonna to get away from this, that XRP crypto wolf tweet. What State Street is, is saying, we're going to quit trying to create the pipes. R3 and Ripple and these companies, have R, that, let them do their thing. That's what I get out of this. Let them do their thing. They've got, they've created the pipes. R3, Ripple, everything that's been in the works. Let them create the pipe. And look what else they did. Remember this? I mean, this isn't something that people in the community would forget, but some people out there may have not remembered this or not ever even known it. They're new listeners. R3's new Corda app supports payments in XRP cryptocurrency. XRP was the first, and it's not going to be the only, but the point is it's involved. And what's so crazy about this whole discussion I'm having right now is in my last video, I, I, when we were talking about State Street, I said, yeah, they're going to have their own stable coin, but don't think for a minute that somewhere in there, somewhere in this thing, 
is XRP, somewhere in these flows. And then I am Legion comes out and completely ties all this together for us. R3, it's all, and I've said it a thousand times, R, when the history books are written, there's a, there are a few names you'll hear. You'll hear R3, you're going to hear DTCC, or is it D, I think it was, I can never, I always forget, DTCC or DTTC, I think it's DTCC. You're going to hear R3, DTCC, and you're going to hear PolySign. Never forget PolySign. And for those of you that don't know what I'm talking about, I keep bringing up PolySign because PolySign is the one thing that is so connected to Ripple and has all these people that work Ripple and they won't say a word about it. And so we have to say words about it here. PolySign. And I joked around about how I need to get a um, sound effect on my channel that whispers PolySign. And I had a guy that emailed me that very thing. Um, I'm trying to remember if I saved that anywhere. Actually, let me see if I can play it for you because I did save it somewhere. Hold on a second. I'm looking on my phone right now to see if I can find that um, because it was so funny what he did. A guy sent me the whispering, the, the word I just whispered. Let me see if I even have it on here. I'll have to find it. If you're listening to me, please uh, send that back to me because I'll play it for my audience if I'm able to get them to hear it on my phone. <laughs> but it's fun. It's a really funny thing. All right, let's move along. I saw this from Raised in Space, and I wanted to at least show you all this. Raised in Space is funded, my understanding is they're funded by Spring, so it's a Spring initiative. Raised in Space, Scooter Braun, who's in the music industry and has a talent agency, is my understanding, and manages people like Justin Bieber and Kanye West and people like that. Um, they are doing something having to do with digital assets and hopefully XRP was raised in space. And they, um, this looks like an older tweet. I don't know why I saw this and thought it was new or somebody must have just retweeted it or something. So I thought it was like recent, but it's not. But anyway, they said, who do you know that is raised in space? I put Arthur Brito. Um, <laughs> he's the anonymous founder of XRP Ripple. Um, XRP Crypto Wolf NetSense just went live with XRP on their merchant gateway. NetSense HQ allows you to accept XRP for your business. That's worth checking out if you have a business and you want to accept XRP. Then Jonathan D at XRP underscore YD7 sent me this. And I wanted to show you this. This is a White House tweet. For years, economists predicted that China was about to become the world's largest economy. But we have built something in the last three years that's been incredible. President Trump just said, we're much larger than China now. Okay, well, I think that's Justin Trudeau. I think that's the uh, Prime Minister of Canada. Remember, don't forget, Canada is all in this digital asset thing. And I think they created their own stable coin not too long ago. And they are all involved in this, this whole space. Okay, now, also, um, we've got the markets. Now, Trump's still going on this trade deal stuff with China, and it's scaring the markets. The markets shouldn't be scared about the trade deal. What they should be scared about is the, the mess that has been created by the central banks for the last 10 years to create this facade of a good economy for the last 10 years. That's what they're probably really worried about. But the trade deal is, is just the, the flashpoint, the thing that is kind of going to set this thing off from what I can tell if, if something does. Well, Crypto D, who is my shark man on the channel, let me see. I can't remember what his title is. He's got one. I, I don't. He, he might be the official um, Jaws guy or something. I don't remember. How the market sell-off could get much worse. Better put on your helmet. Negotiations will go into the new year and beyond. All while the powers that be, uh, that be, all get their ducks aligned behind the scenes, ready for the real action. Then it's helmets on. And this is a CNBC mark, mark, CNBC article. How the market sell-off could get much worse. Now, I always love the um, the opportunity to illustrate the complete absurdity of what is going on in the economies of the world. That the supposed the ones that the economies that they call legitimate, while they've tried to call digital assets for money laundering and all this scary stuff over the last ten years. Well, let me show you what what the supposedly legitimate 
um, markets, how that really, if you really want to put it in perspective, what it looks like. And this came to me from Nathan Craig at the True NDK. Um, I don't know where he got this, but it pretty much spells it out. He says, I love it. I love it when com complex things are simplified so that we can all understand. Takes the U.S. Um, the U.S. Uh, money situation and puts it in terms of your household budget. United States tax rev revenue, okay, that's a hefty set, 2.1 trillion. Fed budget, new debt, national debt, recent budget. And then he says, now remove eight zeros and pretends, pretend it's a household budget. Annual family income, $21,700. Money the family spent, $38,200. New debt on the credit card, $16,500. Outstanding balance on the credit card, $142,710. Total budget cuts with some politicians are, are proud about, $385. Stop the insanity now, vote them out. Well, look, folks, this right here is never going to happen. These people are not getting voted out. Nobody's going to do anything about it, which leaves you two or three options. One, some kind of exit strategy that we don't know about which I believe could, would be something that could involve digital assets. Two, a default, which means something far worse than the Great Depression. And three, World War III, which is very likely, okay? That's really your only three outs is some creation that we don't know about, which I think has to involve digital assets in some level, or those other two, which are terrible, um, or a combination of the three, okay? Um, now, I wanted to finally show you this from X Lighting the Way, and this is so true. Um, anyone from Detroit area, area remembers that, that last time it was, there was this many cuts, it was not good shortly after. Pay off debt and get your financial house in order. This is a tweet that he's tweeting out. Car makers are eliminating more than 80,000 jobs during the coming years with cuts concentrating in Germany. The U.S. and the U.K. This is from Bloomberg, a Bloomberg article, Bloomberg data. I'm the digital asset investor. I'm not an investment advisor. This is for entertainment purposes only. Please subscribe and hit the like button. And tell your friends and family to do exactly what X Lighting the Way is saying. Pay off your debt. Get your financial house in order. Because when the you-know-what hits the fan, these governments are not going to be there to help you. They're going to be there to, to come and try to take more of your money. And so you have to have your financial house in order. Thank you for listening.